Hello, my name is Christophe Fate. I'm the pastry chef from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas. I uh, just want to welcome you to my uh, home. I hope everyone is uh, healthy and safe. We are looking forward to host you very soon uh, and uh, have a, a great demonstration today with a, a simple chocolate cake that we can make at home. So we're gonna do a, a chocolate fondant cake also called chocolate lava cake, depending where you are in the country. The cake is made of, of course, eggs, yolks, a powdered sugar, butter, flour, and chocolate, of course. So chocolate, I would advise you a little bit and give you some tips, is you will use a 65% chocolate, dark chocolate. Um, it is important to use that product or even higher. Uh, that will affect you know the consistency of the cake. You can find that in the store. These a uh, small uh, chips right there, or you can have as well as a block right here, uh, right there. Can you see that, guys? And you can chop them up. Okay, we're gonna start this uh, cake. So um, we're going to uh, do uh, one way, which always is a more simple way. I use a, a double boiler in a pot with water and pot and uh, a bowl and pot and some water inside to have a pot and knife so we can start slowly to uh, to make the uh, uh, chocolate melting we can use also as well with a microwave up there but this way it's a little change that the chocolate burn so i'm going to take the chocolate already wet, wet out it's have 125 grams and put inside and I'm put it back on the stove and let it melt the chocolate for about five minutes you see it is completely melted and we uh, have this uh, 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 pot uh, on the low heat so you don't have the flame to go over the bowl and burn the chocolate so low heat uh, let, it, let it melt it down nicely and slowly just to be melted uh, step two we're going to take some butter put it inside um, with the chocolate, what you want to do is that you want that to be melted as well. During, during that time, when you already kind of prep a little bit, but when you're at home, you take your eggs and you, uh, you uh, the yolks right here and you're going to break it. So yeah, what you want to do is having uh, these two components together. You take another bowl right here. You're gonna take these uh, two components of yolks and I get a small scraper right there. Two of the yolks go inside the bowl. You're gonna take, make sure you scrape very well so you don't even need too much of the yolks inside so you don't have different recipes. You're gonna take the whole eggs, put as well inside. There we go. And another ingredient will be the sugar. It is powdered sugar. You can use a regular sugar, but advise you to use powdered sugar. Uh, when you eat that cake, you won't get that grainy taste on it. So I just pour the powdered sugar with the yolks. And the whole eggs. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix them up. So end of the day, we just go like this, I'll show you. You just mix them up, right, right there. Okay, so we got that all being mixed together. Like you can see, it took me uh, two minutes, 30 seconds to uh, do that. We got that right there. I can remove that, I don't want anything to be burnt. So, now I'm gonna mix them up together. Now the next step for that will be to have um, the mixture of sugar and and all the eggs into the bowl of chocolate so we just again I put it on the side i go like this up oh, and i just pour again make sure you clean very well don't make sure your uh, chocolate butter is not too hot so it doesn't cook the eggs, we just mix them up like this. 
Like I said earlier, now we have the flour. Mix the flour inside. Again, right there. So I pour the flour. There we go. So you see difference in consistency now. It's getting uh, more gooey and harder. If you let it set for five, ten minutes, it becomes even more harder. So you can scoop or you can pour. The uh, container, we're gonna bake the cake in. I choose to have some uh, small aluminum cups. Uh, you can buy uh, that in a commercial wear. If you don't have to do that, you can, uh, if you have at home uh, a uh, ramekin, it's the same thing, it will take longer since, uh, of course, the ramekin is thicker, but it's the same process, the same uh, technique. Okay, we fill them up, all the way most to the top. That cake do not rise that much, just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start to put these cakes now in the oven. 380. It takes about 12 minutes, roughly. Depends the oven, depends how big is the ramekin. Um, but it's about that between, that would say 10 to 12 minutes. So the time is up now. We're gonna remove the cake from the oven after 12 minutes. So as you can see right here, they kind of jiggling a little bit inside. Um, right there, you can see right here a little bit. They are all jiggling a little bit, all right? They uh, cooked, so it's about 12 minutes. So we're gonna let them cool off for a little bit of time for like uh, to get just warm. Uh, that we were able to mold them. Okay, now it's cooling down already after five minutes. The cake right there, let it cool. I'm going to put the plates on. I'm going to take, I go like this, upside down. Very good. We can see it's right there. And I make a little bit of decoration on the top now. Some raspberry. A beautiful strawberry. Just to give some life a little bit. Right there. And I made some whipped cream, classic whipped cream that we by hands. Right there you can see it's whipped. Okay, I got the whipped cream here. I'm gonna make the canal. It's a type of shape. Up. Put on the top. Just a little bit of excitement. And the last surprise. All of my fridge. I made a flat of chocolate. I made the chocolate melted early today. I kept some on the side of the bed. And I put on a piece of farming pot of the paper, put in the fridge. You can break it as you want, the shape you want, and you can stick on it right there. Enjoy, bon appetit.